Hi YouTubers, it's what the fudge Friday. So you thought I was going to say something else? <laughs> Actually, um, the fudge comes from the idea that uh, I'm, I think I've, I've reached some new era where I no longer like sweet things. And I guess that would include fudge, which I used to incredibly adore. Um, or all things chocolate. I don't know. Today, not feeling it. Um, <laughs> and, and actually lately I've been noticing, you know, that I really, uh, sweet things appeal to me less and less and less and less and less. That's a good thing because that was really my Achilles heel. Um, that and things like uh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, sweet. Again, you know, sugars. So glad to be uh, there, but I'm kind of surprised. And today it came in the form of trying to get down Powerade. And why am I drinking Powerade? Not willingly. Um, Powerade Zero, I might add. Um, comes from me having uh, still recovering from dehydration about which about of which landed me in the ER 48 hours ago and well 52 hours ago um, or so um, and I'm still recuperating from that amazingly um, last 48 hours of being home I have been mainly me sleeping and trying to get some fluids down um, not doing too well at getting the fluids down and I really need to I've got my thing of water and you can see how much left I have to do although I don't have to do the whole thing because I have had um, Powerade and, and also uh, protein shake um, by the way the Mango Peach Iso Pure, and I, I would imagine this is true of most Iso Pure um, protein shakes that are from the powders that are the 50 gram of protein ones. The Mango Peach one, at any rate, has more electrolytes in it, uh, way more electrolytes in it than the Powerade Zero, and I didn't realize this until after I would sent my husband to the store to get this. Um, on the recommendation of the surgeon's office, um, the nurse that I spoke to today in desperation of what do I do? I can't, does it really take this long to bounce back after dehydration? And she says, yes, it does. And so she said, go get some Powerade Zero. Um, so off he went very quickly to get that. Oh man, the taste to me, so sweet. Um, he got the mixed berry variety. Um, the sucralose in it, just, I, I don't care what you would have sweetened it with, it was so sweet. I don't think I could have taken it with anything. Um, it, it's been hard to get down. I haven't tried seriously watering it way down, but, but once I discovered that the protein drink actually has more electrolytes in it, and then once I remembered that I actually have electrolyte tabs that um, I have had um, on hand, uh, for just such an occasion as this, um, much better sources of electrolytes than the, than the Powerade Zero. So I guess it was just the power of suggestion and desperation <laughs> of reaching out uh, to the surgeon's office about what else do I do um, that it got us to get the Powerade Zero. I hope my husband likes it. Maybe he will and he'll drink it up. If not, it'll be part of a giveaway. And um, I bet that, that there's somebody out there who, who especially pre-op in, in those liquid diets or whatever, who would love the Powerade. Because um, you still have a sweet tooth, maybe. Um, you know, I, I'm sure it's delightfully, wonderfully flavored for somebody. <laughs> uh, the other thing, just to show you where my taste buds are, I've been trying the Quest Bars, the, the brownie one, and the chocolate chip cookie dough one. I can't take more than a bite of either at a time, um, a day, <laughs> because of the sweetness of them. Um, I bought this whole big box of, of these two um, mixed together. 24-Hour uh, Fitness had a sale on, it was like $19, it was actually ended up being $17, I guess, with the discounts that I had 
for a box of 12 of them and um, I don't know how that compares anywhere else but um, seemed to be a lot of uh, a big percentage off of their regular price so I thought I'd go for it because the quest bars have been talked about so much by so many people I guess my taste buds have just gone some other direction entirely because these things don't taste that good to me um, I'm wondering if anything sweet tastes that good to me because I actually haven't been eating hardly anything sweet. Um, hard to think. What have I been eating that might even border on sweet? It, I can't even think what it would be. So, okay. Um, this is week 11 plus one day after surgery. I had surgery August 1st. And... Um, in that time period, uh, today my my weight was um, 212. Um, I think that's kind of an artificial number because I'm definitely retaining fluids. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with this dehydration. If my body is thinking it has to take everything in and then just hold on to it or, or what's going on, but I'm definitely puffy. I can see it in my face and neck and feel it in my fingers um but the first 24 hours or the or the, the morning after i was in the er um <laughs> i showed a four pound weight gain um i don't think that happens in 24 hours um when especially the day before i had fewer than 500 calories thanks to being in the er much of the time um so yeah that's gotta be fluids um, so today I'm back to 212, um, which is where I was two days ago, three days ago, prior to the whole fiasco in the ER. Um, I suspect, you know, in the next day or two, it'll drop another pound or two, but today's weight is what counts. So, um, total lost, uh, I don't know what this is over last week. I suspect it's it's probably my usual two pounds. I know that two weeks ago I weighed 216, so uh, four pounds in the last two weeks. Uh, but since the day of surgery on August 1st, 11 weeks ago, plus one day, um, that is a 31-pound loss. So just shy of an average of three pounds a week, better it's still beating my two pound a week average that I want to maintain overall. Uh, so I'm happy about that. And honestly, um, as I keep saying this, I'm, I'm putting out their scale weights because I know people pay attention to that. Um, but for me, what makes more difference are my monthly um, measurements because I'm looking at uh, getting trim, getting fit, um, feeling better. And um, feeling better is kind of hard to measure, but the inches um, lost, you know, do tell some kind of uh, a story about um, converting, I don't know if you, you necessarily convert fat to muscle, I don't know how that happens exactly, but building up the muscle, uh, getting, you know, reducing the fat, um, that's where I want to go, and, and overall just feeling better, uh, as I've said. So, um, so that's kind of the, the 11 week and one day, um, stats. Um, what I want to touch on again, though, is the dehydration because it's so important. Please, please, please drink the fluids like they tell you to. Uh, I've been told 64 ounce minimum, which is why I have my water bottle. Um, I, it is so hard to get it down for some of us. Um, I know that. I mean, look. At what I've got to do the rest of the day. Uh, um, I'm estimating, it looks like maybe I've had t uh, 12 ounces out of this thing. No, maybe more, 15. And then another 10 to the protein shake, and then another 4 to the power eight, because that's all I could get in. I've got a long ways to go today. I guess I'm going to stay up late until I can do it because I don't want to be back in the ER. Um, so what has dehydration done to me? Flat out exhaustion. 
Um, I've actually been sleeping most of the last 48 hours. I got up this morning, tried, uh, I took a shower, got dressed, which is why I am dressed now. Um, and that wiped me out. I, after the shower and getting dressed, just dragging myself to the kitchen to try to have something before I went to work, I was exhausted and I couldn't get out the front door. So another day lost from work. Don't want to do that. Um, really exhausted. And I've been talking about exhaustion for some time now and it's finally dawned on me that now that we've ruled out thyroid and vitamins and a lot of other stuff, Perhaps it's been the dehydration all along. Um, I, I'm, I know I've been under the 60 ounces for some time now. Um, Tuesday, the day before I went into the ER, I'd only had 36 ounces of water and plus a, uh, maybe 10 ounces of the protein shake. Not enough, um, especially when you're going into the gym to work out. So get it in. Um, it's gonna affect you in so many ways. Um, I noticed that I realized that I'm going into that time period where everybody loses hair. Um, but it was coming out in clumps the other day, for sure, when I was in the ER. So I don't think dehydration really helps, and maybe it's dehydration that, that is it partially to blame anyway um, for people doing it. But it's just, it's made me nauseous, it's given me a headache, it's given me um, uh, the the lack of energy it's it's just it's it's just not good so I said enough about dehydration maybe not um, <laughs> probably so so um, that's enough of the lecture today I do want to wish everyone well and um, cool awesomeness uh, shout out to uh, Nerd in Oregon, Oregon, Sarah, for having lost 100 pounds. I believe she hit that mark last weekend, but put out a great video today. It was cool to watch. Um, loved it. And um, to all the new subscribers, also thank you. And to people who are commenting, really appreciate it. Um, I am not able to leave comments back um, that actually reply to the reply very well unless I use my computer and I'm only at that you know like once a week so I'm a little slow on getting uh, replies back but I really appreciate your comments and that is that is so cool so have a wonderful day drink your fluids and um, weekend have a great one too take care bye